Praise the Lord. This is D from Simple Complex, man. So excited to come back again with another watch and pray. Now, today I ran across a video um, about a young brother, music artist by the name of YK Osiris. Um, this brother in, in this video, and we're going to watch it together, um, was under some torment, demonic torment, you know, and, and like I said, we and as you know, me and brother Will, we talk about these things constantly. And that's why we try to put these videos out just as a warning, you know, because a lot of us like to play around with it. And 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 we think it's, you know, the things we see, you know, we see these music artists, um, we see the 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 money and different trappings and things. Uh, we don't know if if they truly own those things. We don't know if, if they're leasing it. We don't know, you know, but it ignites that that jealousy in us and those those fleshly cravings in us to desire those things and they become our idols you know but the reality is we are all humans and at the end of the day we all go through pain we all f go through struggle we all have hurt and so i believe this brother is is going through some things and um we're just going to watch it and and we'll talk about it a little further I just want to die. That's what I want to do. I want to die. That's what I want to do. I want to crash out right now and just like, like this, this, this like, life. I swear to God. I had to take a ride. I had to take a ride, bro. Got my house. Because the demons are trying to attack me, bro. Like, it's, it's, it's been, it's bad. Like, I never cry, bro. I never fucking cry. I never fucking cry. I never, I never, I never, I never, I never, I never. I never cry. I swear to God. Right on the Bible. I'm so strong, I just never cry. I don't see my daddy. Shit, nigga, all type of shit. I don't see my kids. Nigga, I barely like... I'm not making money for music. Please help me, bro. I'm tired. Just please help me, bro. Please. Like, why the f is this happening to me, bro? I didn't, like, I can't do shit right. I can't do shit right, bro. I can't do a f thing right. Like, I can't do nothing right, bro. Like, it's always like, oh, if I try to do something right, like, nigga, no, nigga, it's not enough. Wow. So it's it, it's it's sad. It's really sad. It's really sad. I really hope this brother um establishes a relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, because that's the only thing that's gonna to help this brother. And see, that's what the Bible says, you know, love not the things of the world, you know the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, you know, all of those things, all of those trappings, you know, all of the things of the world, you know, he said, how, how can a man gain the world, but lose his soul? You know, so this, this brother, you know, and a lot of, you know, upcoming, you may be an upcoming artist or you may be listening to this and, you know, you may want to get out there you know, blow up. Look, I've been there, done that. For those who know me, <laughs> you know, I, studio engineering, rapping, singing, all of that, you know, so I've been there, done that, met different people. I get it, you know, uh, but God really had to humble me, you know, because I was on a, a bad path, you know, and I wouldn't even quote God and all of this, all, you know, within the cursing and everything you know, that I was doing. And I said, I'm doing this for God. You know, I would always add them in the mix, you know, for my conscious sake, you know. But the re reality was I really wasn't serving him. I was really 
serving Satan. I was really serving my flesh. There were things I wanted, things I desired, you know, and I put God in it to try to cover and mask certain things so it can sound good. So I can be able to uh, function mentally, you know, and it's sad. And, and this brother here, he made a statement. He was talking about, I don't cry, you know, so he's fell victim to the whole uh, psychological uh, thing that's been taught in terms of men not crying. You know how somehow that's a sign of weakness. I'm like, well, why did God give us tear ducts? Why why did He give us that? You know. And I was watching the um, boxing. For those who know, I, I love boxing, and watch Deontay Wilder, and a brother cried several times. Uh, you know, after the fight, and because he was really upset, you know, about him knocking the the other fighter out because they were close friends. You know, but they knew they had to do they had to do what they had to do. You know, I had to feed their families. And so, um, but he talked about it. You know, it's 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 okay to cry. You know, to him, he said it's like a cleansing, you know, and it does. You cry, you know, for joy. You know, it's a lot of reasons you cry. And it's important, man, if you listen it, you know, because this platform that right now is about 60, 40, you know, 60 percent uh, women, 40 percent males. And so so it's a large, you know, uh, group of men on here in and. and it's okay, man, you know, to cry. You know, I cry if I have to, you know. I have cried this year, you know, a couple of times. You know, it's okay. It's I'm no lesser than a man. You know, if somebody wanna, you know, so oh, take it all that he's weak. Okay, that's fine. As long as you stay where you are, <laughs> you know, you know. But if you come and, you know, you wanna test it, that's on you. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna do what I need to do. I'm gonna do if God brings me to a place of humility he he bring, opens my uh heart he softens my heart that's the other thing you know we i used to hear a lot and i you know back in the day they may not say it as much but they talk about you know i'm hard i'm hard you know and, and god told me later about that statement even though it's used like for slang or colloquial terms and things like that but the bible talks about how he would he hardened the hearts of people in the Bible, pharaohs and different people. Hard, he hardened their heart. The Bible talks about the hardened heart, you know. But we, the world, makes that a good thing. Yeah, you hard. Yeah, nobody bothers me. Yeah, I don't never cry. You know, I'm hard. Yeah, your heart is hardened from the world. And the in the Bible, God wants us to have a soft heart. You see, he wants us to have a soft heart so he can mold and shape. You can't mold and shape something hard. <laughs> you, it's not pliable. It has to be pliable. You know, that's why David said, look, create in me a clean heart. You know, renew a contrite spirit within me, you know. You know, so that's important. So I just really, really want to stress that, you know. But I, I'm, I'm speaking and I feel like I'm speaking to those who some some young artists out there you know or or some of you all you know had dreams to to go into these places and and things and uh for fame and success quote unquote you know but it's it's more to it than what you think you really have to sell your soul for these things you know this brother said he had he had demons <laughs> you know demons demonic demons coming after this brother and you might see this statue in the back and that's and his name is YK Osiris. Okay. And it's I believe Osiris is his actual real name. But if you look at Egypt Egyptology, Osiris was the, the god of the dead, of the underworld. This brother's getting attacked by demons so he can commit suicide and kill himself. See, that's what they ultimately what they want you to do is kill yourself. That's why if you look at those who were possessing the Bible, remember the there was a father and his son was possessed and he was going into the fire, you know, you know, he was doing all types of stuff, you know, and, you know, they, several times Jesus had to cast demons out, you know, cause he, you got to understand they need a body. That's what they want. They want our body to be able to function and operate and have authority in the earth. So even one time when he cast out the demons, they were like, look, well, can we at least, can you, okay. 
cast us and put, put us in the swine or in the pigs. And Jesus said, okay, go ahead. Y'all can go in there. So they, they, the demons went into the pigs and the Bible said the pigs ran into the river, into the water and drowned and died, you know? So they, they need a body. And a lot of times we put ourselves in these positions where, you know, we're operating out, out of sight, God's purpose. We're getting into new age. We're getting into witchcraft. We're getting into astrology. We're looking at all, we're talking about vibes. We're talking about vibrations. We're talking about energy. All of these things we're delving into, the things of the world, all of them, they're all natural. We're serving all of their part of creation. God said he doesn't want us to serve creation over the creator. All of those are created things. If it's in the earth, it's a creation. It's not spiritual. Let me say that again. If it's function, if it's within the earth realm, it's natural. It's not spiritual. So you're, you're trying to make vibration spiritual. You're trying to make energy spiritual. You're trying to make all of these things spiritual and they're all natural. You can touch feel, see, or we have some type of technology that we can, we can actually sense it or detect it. That's all natural. But see, and so it ain't even about that. A lot of times Satan uses that just to access our will. So he gets, he needs to get access to our will. He needs our will to, for us to say, let your will be done in the earth. Right. The, but the, in order to do that, he has to, he'll utilize it. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be uh, herbs, you know, it can be uh new age. It can be witchcraft. It can be those things, you know, it can be sage and you sprinkling and doing all this stuff, right? You can be mantras and things that you're doing, but the, the, the whole purpose is to get, gain access to your body so you can have control and have because God gave man authority in Genesis. So you have to have a body. Okay. And so this brother is getting tortured. Now he, he, I'm sure left this moment, you know, and it was a moment for him. And, you know, like a lot of us do, you know, we forget, we forget the Bible says we look in the mirror and then we walk away and forget what we saw, you know? And so he probably walked away. You know, something else came up, you know, maybe he had another gig, uh, another concert, something he needed to do, you know, and he's moving on. But that was a real experience. That was a moment. Those are moments of clarity when God tries to speak to us. We, he shows us our frailties. He shows us our humanity. He shows us we need him, that we need to depend on him, that we can't live this life without him. That nothing in this world will ever bring us peace, will ever bring us joy. Only through Jesus Christ, we need the Holy Spirit to empower us, to strengthen us on the inside. That's the only way we can do it. That's the only way this brother is going to get out of this situation, you know. And so Satan may offer him some things to soothe him for the moment, to soothe us for the moment. But the reality at the end of the day, you know. Are we going to sell our soul for, for fame and for riches? What is it better to have our, our riches in heaven? Our treasures should be in heaven. So I just want to encourage you all, you know, if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, go ahead and ask, him. go ahead, repent. If you've been chasing fame and, and worldly success and things like that, repent, turn away, turn back unto the one true God, Jesus Christ. Let them give you peace. There's no peace like disconnecting yourself from the things of the world. That's when peace truly comes. When you don't need any of that, when you don't need money necessarily. I mean, yeah, we do need things to, to sustain ourselves and things like that. But I'm saying you don't need it, you know. And so when you get to that point, there's a place that you can get to where the things of this world don't even matter anymore. That's true peace. You know, that's true contentment. But you can only do that through a relationship with Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says he has, he has overcome the world. He said, be of peace and of good cheer. For I've overcome the world. 
And he did it just for us on the cross so that we may be saved and we may enter the kingdom. Amen. Well, feel free to like, subscribe. As you know, I'm D from Simple Complex Man, and I'll see you in the next watch and pray.